Hey folks, welcome back um, to Mod Your Vape. Going to be doing a, not a review this time, be doing a uh, how-to video, pretty much. Um, got these uh, battery sleeves here. It's hard to see because of the light glare through my kitchen window here. But um, got yellow, got green, and blue. Um, go ahead and pull out one of these yellows. I'm going to show you how to re-sleeve a battery. 18650. You could do 18350s too if you cut these down to size probably. I ordered these from illuminationsupply.com. I'll throw a link up in the description. Basically it's just a uh, heat shrink tube. And you remove your old wrapper off of your 18650. As you can see, I got some electrical tape on here covering up a spot that the wrapper ripped. The tops get a little chewed up sometimes, um, especially if you have box mods popping them in and out of the battery uh, sleds. But uh, we'll go ahead and remove this green wrapper off of this Sony and go ahead and replace it with the yellow. Now I have some done here as you can see. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Bring the Sony in there. As you can see VTC4 up under the wrapper there. So no one thinks I'm pulling a slick one. I always remove my ring, wedding ring when I'm working on these. One time I was removing one of these wrappers and had it all the way off and my ring arced on the battery and threw a few little sparks out freaked me out so I remove my rings when I'm doing this you could use a little tool or something to peel this off I find it safer though to um, just start peeling away and there is a little black piece that sits on the top here. I usually put those to the side and put them back on. But uh, I just peeled one strip away and as you can see it removed uh, the whole sheathing from the battery. Now here is your 18650 Sony. Wish this camera would focus. Now what you do is open up one of these tubes. I usually slide a finger in there like coin holders. Take your battery, slide it in. And if you notice, when you remove your wrapper, you'll notice on your battery there is a dull part and then a very very small shiny part at the end of the battery wish I could get that to focus for y'all there we go see how it's a little dull there and then shiny right at the the negative end of this battery there we go I usually line up my wrapper so that I have just about that much that's gonna fold over because when you heat shrink this, you want to have some overlap so that you're protecting the bottom and top of your battery and that um, it seals up nicely around the bottom and top. But uh, I go ahead, now that I have the yellow wrapper on, you can see it has some creases in it there. I have a just Wagner heat gun, high and low. I just set it on low, start from the bottom, and you'll see it start shrinking up there. You see how it just hugs the battery nice and tightly. Now you don't want to get it over hot and risk damaging your battery. But uh, now that you have the bottom done, you see my top is still done, I go ahead and start slowly working up the battery. I don't want that top to fold 
So I go ahead and slide the black piece that we saved from earlier. We're going to go ahead and drop that down in the top there. And um, very lightly run the gun up there so that you get it to fold over the top. Just like so. And when you're done, just give it a nice touch. Make sure everything's nice and snug. And you have a re-wrapped, re-sheathed 18650 BTC4.